All right, I want to make a video today. There's been a few questions about my uh, press that I have, and I want to go over a few of its functions and uh, just to help those that are starting out or those that want to make a pretty heavy duty press. So, do the best I can to explain here. So, basically, what I have is I have a very solid uh, aluminum plate here. Looks like it's a little more than a quarter inch. Upon the plate, I have two structural pillars right here, and I have one going across. So you could make this out of steel. If you can weld, it'd be a good idea. But what I did is I ended up, everything I have here, including this vise and this jack, probably came to $20. <laughs> so I like to make things that are cheap, but yet are functional. I have more fun designing than I do using it sometimes. But this turned out pretty good. Very simple. There's a lot of things you can do to make it smoother looking and, and smoother operating. But so basically what I have, again, a base plate. Then you have to have um, a, uh, I got a heavier layer of compression foam here and a lighter layer. This foam is probably twice as, um, probably it's probably twice the force to compress this foam than this foam right here it's there's two layers and so basically what i have is a scissors jack that's mounted to this cross piece and a, a plate mounted onto the bottom of the jack and what i do is uh i actuate the jack with a drill like this and i run the jack down or up <laughs> Actually, I'm going to run it down. And you can see right there, I've got a pretty, pretty tight compression there. So when I pull a sheet of Kydex out and I have a mold, like a mold gun, most of my projects I work on are what I call The bearings are going out of my jack. That's why it does that. But most of the projects I work on are the holsters that are basically like this. Um, they're, uh, I call them hybrid single clip. And uh, they, all of them have a uh, offset washer or a bushing right here. So when I do a mold on a particular gun, I will incorporate this offset so that I got full adjustability all the way around the, the holster itself. It starts out with a piece of, well, basically it starts out with a, a mold. So here's my offset mold. And then I have my gun that I'm molding. Put that in there. And then what happens when I pull, this is just a piece of silicone. So when I pull my Kydex out of my, uh, out of my heater, I lay it on top like this. And I just run. And it pushes a uh, press on the on the mold gun. End up with something that looks like end up with something that looks like this. So pretend that's not that anymore, and that's this. So again, I pull it out, and I have a uh, imprint, uh, imprinted uh, shield, Smith and Wesson shield. There's a few other things that I added to it. So basically. That's how I make what I make. Um, you can also make taco holsters in here. You can add a layer or some sort of a, a barrier of another foam right here. And what I'll show you in my next video is how I do taco holsters with something very similar, kind of the same type of press. So hopefully that helps uh, a few answer a few questions. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me a uh, instant message